Hello and welcome back to Joystick News. Today, we're going to be talking about Ghostwire Tokyo, the action-adventure game developed by Tango Gameworks and published by Bethesda Softworks. Originally released in 2022 as a timed exclusive for PlayStation 5, Ghostwire Tokyo has finally made its way to Xbox Series X, S consoles and PC via Game Pass, and with this transition comes the new Spider's Thread update, which adds more content to the main game and a whole new game mode. As mentioned in our previous review, the game's strengths lie in its visual and sound design, narrative, and creativity. The story follows Akito, who, after a mysterious fog wash through Tokyo's Shibuya district, is given spiritual abilities to fight against aggressive yakai spirits that roam the streets. The source of the chaos is a masked man named Hanya, who has also kidnapped Akito's sister. The story manages to take the player on a surprising and emotional journey that is both terrifying and awe-inspiring thanks in large part to the game's visuals. Speaking of which, Ghostwire, Tokyo's version of Shibuya is meticulously detailed and flawlessly rendered, making it an impressive sight to behold. However, this level of detail does come at a cost of load times between areas. On an Xbox Series S, load times took a maximum of 5 minutes 10 seconds, with no lag, stuttering, pop-in, or frame drops during gameplay. Unfortunately, the game's criticisms lie in its use of the Ubisoft open-world formula and its combat system. The open-world approach requires players to find and cleanse Tory gates to lift areas of a deadly fog in order to continue towards the main waypoint. While not the most inspired way to approach an open world, the beauty of Shibuya and the traversal mechanics available to players manage to keep things interesting. As for the combat system, players can either play stealthily, prioritizing Akito's spiritual bow and quick purges, or use his elemental abilities for head-on encounters. However, the clunkiness of the camera can make aggressive combat a bit annoying, and there is a noticeable drag on the camera when trying to make small adjustments for aiming or quickly turning around. The game does offer an upgrade path to avoid pushing players towards any particular playstyle, but it doesn't fully solve the problem. But now with the Spider's Thread update, Ghostwire, Tokyo adds a new game mode and additional story elements that flesh out the weaker parts of Akito's journey. The new game mode is a roguelike gauntlet that sees Akito fighting through increasingly difficult stages to reach the end. Overall, this Game Pass release not only preserves the experience of the initial release but adds a ton of new features that make it just as easy a recommendation as it was the first time around. So there you have it, Ghostwire Tokyo is now available for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, S, PC, and Game Pass. And with a rating of 4.5 out of 5, we highly recommend giving it a try. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more video game news and reviews.